Various studies are being done aboard the International Space Station to study plant growth. Plant growth is the primary focus of this research. They're all meant to discover how microgravity impacts plant growth and yield so that plant production can be better understood for long-term space missions. Astronauts get a rejuvenating supplement from their freeze-dried food which make them feel healthier. Perhaps the most well-known growing unit on the ISS is the vegetable production system, Veggie. The Veggie system is the ISS's most hands-on plant growth system. On the ISS there are two Veggie units, each capable of producing six plants according to the sources. The veggie system has already produced lettuce, Chinese cabbage, Mizuna mustard, red Russian kale, and the zinnia flowers. Astronaut Scott Kelly frequently tweeted plant health updates while on the ISS, bringing dying zinnias back to health. He preserved the plants which bloomed in brilliant orange. Veggie growing is very easy. We all know that dirt is often filthy, especially in microgravity. Veggie system uses pillow-like cushions filled with clay-based growing media and fertilizer as the planting medium. Using precise doses of water, the growth pillows are filled to capacity. Not only do these cushions assist in providing the plant roots with sufficient air, water, and nutrients, but also aid to guarantee the roots has access to a healthy supply of all three essentials. This is the start of biological research in canisters on a lesser scale. The studies are being conducted to investigate how the absence of gravity affects microorganisms like bacteria, mosses, and algae. This research seeks to explore the relationship between space radiation and plant resistance. Due to Kelly's nursing many damaged zinnia plants back to health, space plants may face higher odds of having their own diseases attack them. If this problem continues, future space missions that depend on plants for sustenance may be in risk. <laughs>